You know the rundown. First it was meals, then the airlines started charging for bags. Now some are even charging for a soda, pillows, even blankets. The ever-growing list of fees can take an already expensive airfare and then send everything through the roof. CBS 11's Ginger Allen tonight shows you how to find the real price that you could end up paying in tonight's Money Saver report. With added fees, increased fares, and fewer flights, travelers say they're finding it harder to fly and find a good deal. We're going for a week. Ricky Green and his family of eight are catching an American Airlines flight from DFW to Orlando. Actually, we got a pretty good deal on them. We got them for about 251 each. But that $250 ticket quickly disappeared behind added baggage fees that American now charges. And for eight people, it begins to add up. Actually, we paid 15 for seven of them, and we paid 25 for one extra over that. The Green family shelled out an extra $260 in fees for their trip to Orlando. That's more than one in Entire airfare. Uh, I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> the airlines are trying to find ways to increase revenue and make more money. And Bannis with SmarterTravel.com says it's getting harder for consumers to figure out what a flight will actually cost. And what makes it especially difficult for the consumer is that they can't compare prices because every airline has a different mix of fee, they're different prices. So we asked her to help sort out the numbers. She and her team compared three airlines, AirTran, U.S. Airways, and America. On flights from DFW to Orlando and to New York City, two popular family destinations. All the fares and fees are based on one round-trip traveler who checks two bags, orders a non-alcoholic drink, and a snack on board. One airline might seem like it's the cheapest one, in the end, once you add up all the fees, it might actually be the most expensive. That's certainly the case with the flights to Orlando. AirTran and American both charged $239 for the ticket. U.S. Airways came in lower at $176. But look what happens to the U.S. Airways fare when you add $15 for the first checked bag each way, $25 for the second bag each way, $4 for the beverages, and $10 for snacks on both flights. Your $176 ticket now cost you $270. Take an airline like AirTran, which is a low-cost carrier, they're pretty good. The only fee that they have is a $10 fee for your second check bag. But American was as expensive as U.S. Airways. Remember, it's $239 round-trip fare to Orlando? Add in the $86 in fees, and that trip will actually cost you $325. Every airline is doing something different. Look at flights from DFW to New York City. AirTran had the highest ticket price at $300. Now add the fees and the ticket on U.S. Air and American source to $60 more than AirTran. SmarterTravel.com now has a list of all the airlines and their fees on its website to make it easier for you to figure out exactly what you're really going to pay. Well, depending on the airline, the price of the ticket is, it could be anywhere from $30 to $120 more than the fare that you're quoted. For the Green family members, despite the added fees, they say they're still going to fly. We're flying people, family. We're not driving people, getting in the car, eight of us. Vanna says check her website every week because new fees are added all the time. And to see a list of fees by airline, you can log on to our website, cbs11tv.com. I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News.